Oh, you're concerned about all the rumors you've heard about me? Don't bother, because I don't care whether you believe those rumors. Just don't throw extra trouble my way, and we'll be fine. It seems you're perfectly capable of taking care of yourself, so much so that you even look after that little companion of yours. I don't have any suggestions to offer you, and frankly, you probably don't need my help. To be completely honest, this dendrovision isn't of much help to my research. However, there's no denying the effectiveness of elemental powers when settling a physical dispute, so it still proves useful at times. One should neither dismiss nor overly revere the divine. Gods require followers, and they are also part of a biological hierarchy. That's why I don't take any pride in the fact that I helped rescue a god. I hope Lesser Lord Kusanali doesn't take offense. Kave tends to be overly sensitive about everyone and everything he crosses paths with, and he's constantly making a fuss about nothing. Hmm. Maybe it's because he's too emotionally fragile. Someone set up a stand on the street saying that for each handmade keychain they sold, a child in poverty would be given a meal. Kave bought at least a dozen. This is Sumeru, where even healthcare is free. I needn't say more. Apparently, a lot of people think he has a bad temperament, but I don't think they're giving him a fair chance. When Kave built a house right over a withering zone and created a huge mess, it ended up being a real headache for the forest rangers. Even so, this forest ranger didn't hold it against Kave. He even invited Kave to his house for a meal. Hmm, maybe it's good people like him who allow people like Kave to survive. She's sharp and always keeps an eye out for herself. She knows how to take life by the reins and make her dreams a reality. I'm not condoning her actions, but just because we stand on different sides doesn't mean that I can't appreciate her attitude towards life. The hive mind case certainly added to the mantra's workload, but my conscience is clear. The root cause of what ultimately transpired actually has nothing to do with me at all. I'm sure Sino appreciates that, as he hasn't once approached me about the incident. The strengths and weaknesses of a performing artist are quite clear. Nilu knows how to play to her strengths, which enables her to live a happy and simple life. It's a waste for such a capable person to remain among the Aramites. If only she'd consider my suggestion to join the Academia. Our work would become a lot easier with someone like her around, but a predictable life isn't exactly her cup of tea. I can understand that. <sighs> what a pity. I've never been interested in social interactions, and as you can see, my life is more comfortable than most. I'd say this is proof enough that being social is not one of life's necessities. Every person should have something that they believe in and hold on to from beginning to end. Otherwise, it's easy to succumb to vicissitudes of life and find yourself being led astray. Once order is disrupted, the consequences spread like wildfire. I'd like to avoid such a scenario so I can keep my life intact and uninterrupted. I'll occasionally go to the tavern for a drink after work. That's not what you needed to know about? Huh. I was under the impression that sharing what you do in your free time is more personal than telling someone your thoughts or opinions. After all, you can get those from anybody on the message board. Thank you. Ah. So it wasn't a one-time-only thing. I think you're more excited than me about this progress. We mustn't let those lazy academia scholars know about the progress I'm making. If they catch wind of this, they'll stop at nothing to make my life even more of a hassle. I'll reject anything they send my way, of course, but the communication required to do so is a huge waste of my time. <sighs> 